Fans of Broadway and British history get ready to lose your heads over six. A unique musical experience that tells the story of Henry VIII's six famous wives and their less than ideal fates. Beheaded. Died. Divorced. Beheaded. Survived. One survived. The North American tour of the Tony Award winning show is now in its final week at the Hollywood Pantages Theater before it packs up and moves to Orange County for a two week run at the Seagersham Center for the Arts in Costa Mesa. Two of the show's stars join us right now from backstage at the Pantages. Olivia Donaldson plays Henry's fourth wife, Anna of Cleves. And Gabriella Carrillo plays Catherine Parr, Henry's last wife the survivor uh thank you so much for taking time out i know you got to get to the stage soon uh, i love the fact that this is an all-female cast your backup band all female how did you take this story from 500 years ago and turn it into a celebration of 21st century girl power gabriella i'll start with you yeah, I think what's really special about this musical and, and what people love about it is, yes, it takes this story from hundreds of years ago, but it puts it through a lens of these modern divas. So all of the six queens are inspired by different modern divas, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Lizzo. Uh, you can probably see your favorite pop star on stage somewhere when it comes to Six the Musical. So people are excited by the music, the modern costumes with little Tudor style elements. It just fuses the modern world and the Tudor world and um, the messages of the show still ring true today. And so I think it's just something so special to have all women on stage. And the whole thing is so unique and totally one of a kind. Olivia, what is one of those messages uh, that audience can take away? I think the we get a little bit caught up in com competing with each other and, mm -hmm. and forgetting to support one another. And this show brings that back and says, support is the answer we are all here together we're all you know you know living our lives and to celebrate together and just um spread love and joy is really the most important thing <laughs> why do you think gabriella it's so important to tell this particular slice of history i think because in history these women have been kind of defined by their relation to Henry VIII and even just how they died. That's kind of what you know about, oh, this one was beheaded, this one was divorced, and that's kind of all we know. And there's so much more to any human being's life, but especially these women, so much more to their life, their accomplishments, the people that they loved, the things that they did with their life, than to just chalk it up to, it was some woman who got beheaded. <laughs> um, and I think there's a lot of that even now we, label people as one thing that they went through with a person that they dated or that one guy they were married to and it's just a narrative that hopefully stops soon but through this show i think we display the power that comes in people telling their full story and stopping that type of narrative that i just described olivia you play uh, anna of cleves uh, what have you learned and uh, about relationships perhaps in playing her <laughs> It's so funny because my character specifically kind of deals with the like swipe culture that we are in currently. And um, it's just a reminder that self love is so important and that, you know, independence can be beautiful as well. And like I was talking about earlier with support of your friends and your family and just really finding the, the, the love within yourself. Oh my gosh, it looks so fun. I love the modern spin on this. Uh, what would you want to? What slice of, of history do you want to tell next if you get an opportunity to do so on stage, uh, Gabriella? I have always loved ancient history growing up in, in mythology and things like that. So if anything comes around that is like Greek mythology, I love ancient Egyptian stories. I love, um, I'm Mexican, so Aztec mythology, anything like that in history, Mexican history, I love. But really, if I can just follow this up with any next job that I feel passionate and excited and connected about, that's that's going to be great for me because this was already a dream come true. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Uh, well, Six is now playing at the Hollywood Pantages Theater through Saturday, June 10th, before it heads to, as mentioned, the Seagerstrom Center for the Arts in Costa Mesa from June 13th through 
the 25th. We know that you have to get on stage. For more information, 6onbroadway.com. Olivia Donaldson and Gabriela Carrillo, thank you so much, and have a great performance tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back.